Okay, so you want to create an index in Microsoft Word. I've just got a basic document here, benefits of using Microsoft Office. My first index entry is going to be for the word Word. So I'm going to select it, go to the References tab on the ribbon. And in the index group, I'm going to click on this button, Mark Entry. So in the main entry box, you want to type the text you want to appear in the index. So I'm going to have that as Microsoft Word. And I want to include the page number for every instance of Word within this document. So I'm going to click on Mark All. Now the next entry in my index is going to be for the word Styles. And I can see an occurrence of that here. So I'm going to select it, click into my main entry box, and it populates the main entry box with that word. Now, actually, I want styles to be a sub-entry within my index. So I'm going to cut it out of here, Control X, and paste it in here, Control V. And the main entry for this sub-entry is going to be Microsoft Word. And I'm going to mark all entries. Now the next entry is going to be for the word video. So I'm going to select that, click into my main entry box, populate main entry for me, and clears the sub entry box. I'm going to mark all entries. Then I'm going to select online video, click into the main entry box, it populates it for me. And I want to cross reference this. So it says see video, and then mark. The other option you've got is to include a page range within your index. So let's just scroll down here a little bit and say I wanted to create a cross-reference to this paragraph, which spans two pages. Now what I would do is I'd select that content, might be more than one paragraph, and I'd need to create a bookmark for it. So to do that, I'd go to Insert and then Bookmark. And I've got to give the bookmark a name. So I'm going to call this Embedding Video. Now, you actually can't have a space in a bookmark name. So I'll close that space and I'll click on Add. So now I'm going to click somewhere in the document. So I don't have that paragraph selected. And in the main entry box, I'm going to type Embedding Video. Then I Click on this option here, page range, and then I choose the bookmark I want to refer to. Click on mark, and then click on close. So now I've created all the index entries within my document. I need to create the index itself. So I'm going to go to the bottom of the document, control end, create for myself a heading. And then to insert the index, you go back to the References tab and insert index. So there's lots of options here. You can choose how many columns you want. I'll just say one column. You can right align the page numbers and you can choose a format. So this is the kind of default look. If you had a lot more entries, you could choose something like classic. Let's we'll stick with from template. And then I can just click on OK and it creates the index for me. So you can see I've got the page range there for embedding video. I've got styles as a sub entry under Microsoft Word, and I've got online video cross-referencing to video. Now that is one way of creating an index where you manually mark every word that you want to include within the index. There is another way which you may prefer, and I think this will work better if you have many entries that you want to include in your index. Now to use this method, you need to create another Word document and you need to insert a table into that document. And to do that, you just go insert table and you'll need two columns. Now what you want to do in the first column is list the words that you want to mark within your document and it is case sensitive. So I've got Word, Styles and Video. Then over in the right column, the second column, you want to list how you want those entries to appear in your index. So I wanted Word to appear as Microsoft Word. I wanted Styles to appear as a sub-entry 
under Microsoft Word. So you can see I've used that colon there. Microsoft Word is the main entry, colon styles is the sub entry. So once you've got that document, you then need to save it and then close it. So back in my original document, and I've got rid of the index and any mark entries that were in the document. So I'm gonna go back to the end of the document create my heading index and now I'm going to go to the insert index button click on auto mark and navigate to that document now you can see what it's done is it's put all the mark entries into my document automatically so then all I need to do is go back to insert index and choose the options that I want here. So I want right aligned page numbers. I want one column format from template. Then I click on OK and it generates the index for me. OK, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.